what point do you graduate from yes. from uh, your school of divinity? And yeah. at what point does I choose life? Yeah. Start. Yes. Yeah. So so uh, so it's all organic. Mm. It's not like I thought. Okay, uh, let's start. Mm -hmm. I choose life. Mm -hmm. So I'm doing this navigator thing, mm -hmm. mentoring students, mm -hmm. and then I've suddenly developed my biblical philosophy mm -hmm. and now I'm feeling yes I can do my own thing mm -hmm. like I, I feel it cocky now to be able to the love you know that's your opinion yeah but I have my own opinion yeah. <laughs> that's well. so that's going on mm -hmm. and um, so then I begin um, thinking we need to start talking about HIV at the university mm -hmm. so uh, but I think maybe the best person to talk about this thing is the university lecturer. Mm -hmm. So a friend of mine called uh, Professor Molindi, mm -hmm. he was teaching at medical school, I go attend Professor, you know, Prof. Mm -hmm. You need to integrate HIV in your university training. Mm -hmm. You know, I've looked around, the smallest book that talk about HIV is a thousand pages. How do you expect the students to be able to understand this and really uh, protect them from sexual behavior. Mm. He looks at me and then he says, Mike, that's not my job. Mm. I'm here in lecture. Mm -hmm. You've been working with these students. Mm -hmm. You know how they think. Mm -hmm. You do it. Don't mm -hmm. ask me. Then I realize what my problem. And uh, so I'm still working with the navigators. And then, you know, I begin praying about it. And uh, meanwhile, I've lost three of my siblings to HIV, and so all these things are coming to that I'm wondering, there's enough pressure that I need to do something about it, but I'm feeling quite incompetent. Because, you know, these are health, you know, uh, issue. Mm -hmm. My background is stone. I did not even know what HIV stands for. Mm -hmm. So I'm struggling with this and I'm praying about it. And I don't remember walking from um, Uchumi supermarket, to the navigators where I used to work. Mm -hmm. And uh, really God speaking to me through mm -hmm. Esther 414, which basically says that uh, it's a threat and uh, it basically says I've raised you for such a time as this. It's, it's Mordecai talking to Esther mm. and saying I've raised you for such a time as this. Mm. Um, you need to do something about it and if you don't, I'm going to raise somebody else to do it anyway. And I realized enough that God was telling me, my, you know, you need to respond to this. The, the fact that you have no capacities that to have chosen you, mm. so that you don't go back and sit because of your medical background and the rest. Mm. So in a sense, I'm choosing the most in, incompetent person to do this so that other people can be able to say, if I can do it, I too can do it. But if you think and become cocky and think that you can get away with it, if you don't do it, I'm going to raise somebody else anyway, but you and your family are going to suffer. No, that will always have call. Then I say, okay, no. <laughs> yeah, let me do it. But then I begin thinking, what does this take? So for six months, I spent going to medical school, like friends at the medical school, mm -hmm. trying to understand what is HIV, mm -hmm. how, you know, what is health. And uh, my friends, the doctor friends, people like uh, Elizabeth, Dr. Elizabeth from Bimbo and so forth. Mm -hmm. You know, I sit at their feet mm -hmm. and for six months I'm praying, I'm mm -hmm. fasting mm -hmm. and, uh, and uh, I'm also trying, trying to understand uh, what is HIV book. I'm also reading the official leadership. Mm -hmm. And so from there is when we developed, I would say like a 10 year vision mm -hmm. of what we needed to do. Mm -hmm. And the two things stand out. One is that uh, if I was going to engage young people, I, there needed to be music. Mm -hmm. I need to address issues about money. Mm -hmm. I need to be fun. Mm. Yeah, those are the three things that they do. Music, money, fun. Music, money, and fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, in my mind, I'm already creating, if I'm going to engage young people, mm. and these have to be the fundamentals mm -hmm. of uh, how that program is to look like. And this is based on what the young people are saying. Yes, yes. Your engagement with the Engagement. Young I did some, we did actually some questionnaire, I did some questionnaire mm -hmm. to, to find out from the young people what was their priorities. Mm. And I'm connecting this to Jesus because I'm saying mm. the reason why we may not necessarily be very effective in our life mm. is because we're relevant. Mm. We are addressing needs not 
not meat for the society. Mm. Because for Jesus, he fed them with bread. Mm. And he even told them, I know the reason why you're following me is because of the bread that you ate. Mm. It's not because you like my preaching. <laughs> so, <laughs> so then I was trying to identify what are the felt needs for these young people. Mm. So felt I, needs. Yeah, so I can address them. Mm. And then as I address them, then we can also talk about other things. You can then add, so you target the felt needs <laughs> yeah. so that you get to the real needs. Yes, exactly. Mm. The deeper needs. The deeper needs. Mm very interesting why did you then call it? so you mm -hmm. registered it and why did you call it to such as like why you know at that point we're not registered okay so so we start mm -hmm. i was having a bible study at the university of nairobi and african bible study right so we start mm -hmm. so as the guy is okay guys uh, if you are to start a uh, hiv campaign what do you do mm -hmm. they say well just get a mic um a microphone it's a micro, the speaker, the thing. Oh, the, 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 the ones? Yeah. The, the loud speakers? Yeah, loud speakers. Mm -hmm. Then you go around university halls and shouting, you know, you guys could get HIV infection. Oh, yeah. So yeah. we do that. Really? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And what is the Oh, God, it didn't work. <laughs> I'm surprised. <laughs> you <laughs> think I would, I, would, I, would, I would know better, right? No, who advised that? <laughs> It was crazy. It was just, uh, but you know, we were committed. Yeah. We, we needed to do what needed to be done. Yes, yes, yes. That, there's no stupid. music, there's yeah. no money, there's no fun in that. We were shouting that. And so, all happened that guys, of course, yeah. stay away from Guys it. go back to the hall. Yeah. They're here, they're like, no, he's. <laughs> Then we thought, okay, we need to do some fundraising, so we need to organize a walk. Mm. Jude Kongoro, by the way, was, you know, Jude Kongoro. Jude Kongoro, yeah. 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 part of the team. Yeah. So we organized a walk. We needed to raise like I think fifty thousand. Mm. Organize a walk from Nairobi University mm. to Aborita Marines our place. Mm -hmm. So the budget was uh, I think we spent like twenty thousand mm -hmm. and raised ten thousand. <laughs> so you went your first one was a uh, complete loss. Uh, hundred percent loss. Hundred yeah. percent loss. Mm. So we're making all these mistakes, but mm. you know, we're thinking, okay, mm. you know, we do what you can. Mm. I mean mm. um so during that time then because they see the merger between navigators and what i'm doing mm -hmm. so some of the guys that uh, i got then were i figured out i need some leaders some mm -hmm. change maker the university mm -hmm. so i went to university and asked you know who are some like your worst characters you know because i know if i can get the worst mm -hmm. those would be like the leaders mm -hmm. of the movement mm -hmm. so i got sudi and eric Sudi Bikomatari. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now Sudi was a, he was always he was never in his room mm -hmm. uh, during the day, mm -hmm. and so because he was involved, uh, you know, like so he was he used to be they used to be hired mm -hmm. by politicians to beat up some of the opposition leaders. <laughs> <laughs> These are the initial. <laughs> Yeah. Is for I see it. Okay. And during the day, most of the time he was at Central Police Station mm -hmm. trying to get his buddies out of prison. Yeah. Because I've been arrested and you know. Alright. So I would go in the middle of the night, like midnight. Yeah. You know, that's when you saw our meetings. Yeah. So Sudi is organizing students yes. of, of the opposition. Or, yes. or student leaders who he was he was like a, a hired uh, political gun uh -huh. so that uh, when they want to vanquish or stop certain politicians making noise actually it was the clergy yeah then they would be hired yeah. and they would go out and beat up those guys oh man yeah so i don't want to mention some of the names because you love them <laughs> <laughs> this is the early 2000s so yeah. you can just spend yeah, uh, yeah, you can yeah. try and look at uh, who are at who are the yeah. opposition who are the student leaders yes. and uh, the yeah. gang members of that time? <laughs> yes, and you remember it was Moy was still in power. Yes. So it's a Moy's government hiring. I see you. Yeah. I see you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. And look at Sudi now. Yeah. Uh, Sudi and Eric Nyamwaro. Yes. Uh, some of the early yeah. students yeah. who came together. In fact, to... Sudi and Eric were the first. The first two yes. who worked with you yes. at the time. Yes, I recruited them. Okay. Yeah. Uh huh. So what what did that look like? So they would go with you too. Yeah. So, uh, so we wanted to start this HIV training, mm -hmm. and I needed to mobilize students, mm -hmm. uh, also get office space and mm -hmm. so forth. Mm -hmm. So logistics. So I needed people who would run around the university. Okay. And so I got those two. All right. To start. With. Okay. And. Um, 
But then, of course, I do not know much about HIV. Right. You know, some of the students at the university who are doing medicine. Mm -hmm. um, uh, so they helped us to understand mm -hmm. HIV and health and what it is. Mm -hmm. But really, um, but at the same time, mm -hmm. uh, you know, also get married about the same point. Aha. Uh -huh.